हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति चावला वेलकम टू माय सीरीज ऑफ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड द कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ग्युमेंट्स इन फंक्शंस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्कोप एंड लाइफ टाइम ऑफ अ वेरिएबल्स एंड म्यूटेबल एंड इम्यूटेबल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ आर्ग्युमेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद स्कोप एंड लाइफ टाइम ऑफ अ वेरिएबल्स ओके now the question arises what is what do you mean by this term scope and lifetime theek hai the scope of a variable is basically a portion of a program in which we can access that variable there are basically two types of scope variables local scope and global scope the variables which are used inside a function are called local scope okay for example if we have defined a function and in that function i have created one variable then that variable is in the local scope of that function and that variable is not accessible outside that function next is global scope variables which can be accessed outside the function in this scope lifetime of a variable is the period through which the variable exists in the memory means for the whole program we can use and access that variable here is an example here i have defined one function my function and in this function i have created a variable x equals to 10 this variable is declared inside a function so this is called local variable and this function is sorry this variable is not accessible outside this function and here we are going to print this value value inside the function x it what it will print 10 and here again outside this function a variable having same name x equals to 20 so outside the function this global variable will be accessible so what will it print here value outside the function is 20 okay this is again the most important concept according to your board exam also question jo generally exam mein aata hai what is the difference between local and global variable local variable is a variable which is declared within a function or within a block and global variables are those variables which are declared outside the function and second difference is local variables are accessible only within a function in which it is clear and global variables are accessible throughout the program and make sure beta whenever any theoretical question comes in your exam explain it with the help of an example okay it is a good practice to write to explain your concept with the help of an example let's do the practical of this now okay i have opened my python ideally i am creating a function here and i am writing it here print i'm just writing inside a function and value suppose i will take variable hey here okay 50 and outside this function now i am writing a equals to 60 and print outside a function and this a okay and i'm going to call this function also with this parameter here it will receive receive okay so now see here i have created a function name func execution will start from here the value of variable a is 60 this function will be called function and here we are passing the argument also that is 60 so this 60 will be transferred to here in function header and this function changes the value a equals to 50 but here this fun variable is a local variable so what will be the what will value printed here 50 and here it is 60 let's execute this see inside a function is 50 and outside a function is 60 now the question arises if this local function wants to access the global variable inside
inside a local scope. I am repeating again. If this function wants to access the global variable inside a function having same name. Okay. Obviously, priority will be given to local scope. Here you can see the variable is having same name. A equals to 60, A equals to 50. But in this function, the priority will be given to this local scope of a variable. Okay. So now, if this function wants to access this variable, okay, this global variable A inside the function. So what we have to do? We have to just write the global keyword with the name of a variable which we want to access. Okay. Now, A equals to 60. This function will be called A here. Okay, the value will be passed here, 60. Global A. By writing this statement, we are telling to Python interpreter that now this function is going to access the global variable. And the copies of global variables are shared among all the variables. So, whatever this function make changes in this global variable, it will reflect back outside the function also. This function is my value kya change kar di? 50. So, jab humne iske bahar isko execute karakar isko print karayenge, but this function will print 50. Let's execute this. Just a second. So now here, this is not required, okay? This global A means that this function will access the global variable A and it is this function is going to change the value of global variable. So when outside the function, okay, we are going to print this value, what will it print? Not 60, it will print 50. Let's execute this. See here inside a function 50 and outside a function 50. How this function is called? Okay. This global A. A is a global variable here. Okay. This is a global variable. This global A. This means this function is using the global variable A. This function has changed the value of A from 60 to 50. Here this is going to print 50 and outside the function also 50. I hope this concept is clear to you now. We are moving to our next concept passing arrays or list to a function. Till now we have passed even only the integer values to a functions. We can pass even arrays or list to a function. See this example. This is the program to print the average of integers using list. This average this list average is a name of a function and here input integers we have get it from the user and this range function from here this a will be the list of integers and here we are passing the value to here. Next is mutable and immutable properties of data and objects. Again important topic. What do you mean by mutable and immutable? Mutable means risky value change ho sakti hai and immutable means risky value change nahi ho sakti. There are so many data types in python. So out of those string and tuple are your mutable or immutable. Lot of students are having confusion in this. Okay, so make sure that string and tuples are your immutable data type. And remaining list dictionary are your mutable data type. And even integers, list, uh, sorry, integers and floats are also your immutable types. So I am explaining you this concept with the help of an example. Let's erase this now. I have made a function def with key started with this. And let's suppose. A equals to 50 I have written then I am calling this function then I am passing this 
variable here and let's this function changes the value 40 print I'm again writing the same statement inside comma a and then print this concept is the same as the previous one which we have, which we have used earlier now outside and then a. okay so what will it get print a the value of a is 50 this function will be called value a will be passed to this function a equals to 40 here it will print 40 okay but here outside the function what will it print 40 or 50 50 it will print let's check okay so reason behind that since this variable a is of integer type and this is your immutable type ठीक है अगर हम फंक्शन के आर्गुमेंट में इम्यूटेबल टाइप की वैल्यू पास करेंगे और कोई फंक्शन उसमें वैल्यू चेंज करता है तो वो आपका ओरिजिनल में चेंजेस नहीं होंगी वो आपकी रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं करेंगे फंक्शन के बाहर ओके लिसन अगेन इफ अ फंक्शन हैज पास्ड एनी इम्यूटेबल टाइप ऑफ वैल्यू टू अ फंक्शन एंड इफ फंक्शन ट्राइज टू मेक चेंजेस इन दैट वैल्यू it will not be get reflected outside the function. Reason being that the function has not changed the value at its original place. It has done changes in the duplicate values. Okay. Now what I have done, I am taking the list here. So now this is your list and I am passing the list here. And now let's suppose on this 50 element, is it index 50, 0? So what I am trying to do is now a of 0 equals to a of 0 plus 10. a of 0 is 50 plus 10, 60. Okay. So I am going to print this list now. What it will print? List with one element, 60. And here also it will print 60 not 50. Let's execute this. See, that means changes are done in the actual values. Because list is our mutable type. We can even try to append elements also by using append function. Okay. Now get back to this. Yeah, this is an example of mutable type. See here list 1 with element 1. And here it is trying to add the value 2 which is at index 0. Same concept which I have explained you. Okay. So, I hope this concept is clear to you now. This chapter is over now. And in our next video, I will be going to discuss some important questions according to board point of view. Jo bhi aapke 10 years mein jis type ke functions ke questions aate hain. That I will discuss in our next video.